Hello, hello, and welcome. We are super excited to have y'all coming on in here and joining us. My name is Jay, and I am your StriveScan facilitator for this evening session. We have six schools with just six minutes to give you all the highlights about where they're the right school for you. So be ready to take notes, ask some good questions, and we will get set up here. Again, my name is Jay. I am your StriveScan facilitator for this session, and thank you for joining the Santa Barbara Cal Soap Virtual College Fair. I've got a couple housekeeping announcements before we get started, but then I will hand it on over to our presenters. So the first thing is that using the Q&A button that you should see at the top or bottom of your screen is how you can ask questions to our presenters at any time. Our only request is that if you have a question for a specific school, please list the name of the school in the question. Also, you can see and hear us, but we cannot see and hear you. So don't worry about any of your audio or video. This is just one of many sessions, two more actually happening later this evening if you wanna register for those. And this presentation is being recorded. So you should be able to get that um, at strivescan.com forward slash calso. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen and bring up Regent University, who is our first presenter. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for being here on behalf of all the schools. We're just so excited to be able to share a little bit with you about our universities. Um, I'm with Regent University, and Regent University is a four-year nonprofit Christian university. We are located in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia, so we're on the other coast. And um, we also do have our amazing online programs as well. If you're not ready to leave California, that's totally okay. Um, our student population does represent all 50 states, 90 countries, and 40 denominations, so you can say we definitely have quite a diverse population. You'll also see our average test scores and GPA listed on this screen. Um, here at Regent, we do look at our students holistically when it comes to our admissions decision, and what that means is we look beyond your transcripts and SAT scores. So we'll take into account um, your extracurricular activities, the difficulty of the classes that you've taken, and other things that you'll submit on your application like have you had a job and did that play into account when it comes to your grades. Um, you'll also see your average SAT and ACT scores listed, um, but keep in mind that we are test optional this year, but we do encourage you if you have taken your test to submit those because there's chance for merit-based scholarships as well. Um, we have just over 11,000 students at Regent University, but 4,400 of them are our undergraduate population. Um, and these students are either taking classes online, they live on campus, or they will commute from our local area. You'll also see here that 90% of our full-time faculty do hold the highest degree in their discipline, and many of them are actively working in their fields. Um, and this just really gives you that real-world experience in the classroom. And then lastly, our student-to-faculty ratio is 17 to 1. This classroom dynamic, um, this smaller classroom dynamic, it really allows our students to receive a very personalized instruction from their professors. And we love to say here at Regent, um, our students will never be lost in a large lecture hall. <clears throat> but we do realize that figuring out your finances, it's going to be a huge factor when it comes to choosing what school is the best suited for you. Um, at Regent University, we are committed to making our education affordable because of that. So we do rank in the top 5% for most affordable private college tuition rates. And the cost that you see on the screen is across the board for all students. Since we are a private university, we do not have in-state or out-of-state tuition. Um, over 85% of our undergraduate students, they will receive some sort of aid. Um, we have a number of institutional opportunities for aid as well, and we do encourage all of our students to um, fill out the FAFSA and take advantage of federal aid as well. On the bottom corner here, you can visit our net price calculator. It's an excellent resource for you breaking down your costs based on your individual circumstances. Um, I always love to say at Regent, it is your one-stop shop when it comes to pursuing your educational desires. We do offer over 135 different year, um, programs of study from associate's degree all the way through our doctoral programs and PhD programs. And um, we also have a law school on our campus. So for the students who do desire um, the more traditional classic approach, we do offer our honors, honors college as well. And this is more of a cohort cohort style learning approach um, and by participating in our honor school there are many different benefits including ex um, exclusive scholarships and then we even allow you to register for classes first 
We do offer apartment style student housing on campus with free parking. Um, we have laundry services and a 24 hour fitness center. In all of our apartment style housing, um, they have a fully furnished kitchen in each suite. We like to treat you like adults. And we are ranked in the top 5% or the top five safest colleges college campuses in Virginia. So we like to say, let your parents know that they'll be very happy about that. And then here at Regent, we want to surround you with every resource you need to earn a quality education, and have just a great experience overall. Um, so we do offer services from our academic support center all the way to our student, uh, center for student happiness. And these things are all available to you from the moment you become a student all the way through once you are an alumni with us. But we understand that your college experience involves every aspect of your life and Regent offers many opportunities outside the classroom. For example, we have over 55 student led organizations, including surf club, we're very close to the beach, moot court, we do have a law school and our student activities board. Um, we do have nine collegiate sports as well as club and intramural sports. And then fun fact, we are an extremely military friendly campus and over 30% of our population is military affiliated in some way. So if you are interested in a military career, we do offer several ROTC programs and scholarships as well. But like I've been mentioning, Regent is located in coastal Virginia Beach. Um, we're only a short 20 minute drive to the boardwalk. In the state of Virginia, there are 38 state parks and 21 national parks. So it's a perfect place to venture out and explore over the weekends. Um, we're home to several historic sites, including nearby historic Williamsburg. And plus we're just a few hours away from um, places like the Outer Banks in DC. Now we are open for tours and we'd love for you to come check us out if you're unable to um, join us in person. We have our virtual on campus tour um, that you can take advantage of on our website. And then lastly, you can apply online or call and speak with one of our admissions counselors. We'd love to speak with you and we can often waive that application fee for you. Um, we operate on rolling admissions basis, so it's not too late to apply for this coming fall. Um, I'll go ahead and put in our chat some the chat some information and answer any questions that you may have. But with that, I thank you guys so much for listening and I'll pass it back to Jay. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. Really appreciate that. We're going to move right along now to our second university, Full Sail University. Take it away. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to be here this evening and share a little bit about Full Sail University with you all. So my name is Jolie, I'm part of the outreach team here. So the way we do things is a little bit different, I will say at Full Sail University. Here's a little bit of a short clip of our campus, no audio in this video, of course, but uh, just wanted to share the type of degrees that we do have. So we're more entertainment, media, arts and technology focused. So that means we have areas of studies that deal with things like music and recording, game design and development, art and design, film and television, technology, media communications, business and sports. So definitely if you do wanna find out more about these areas of studies, I am gonna leave in the chat some um, you know, information, a way you can get information. Um, but Full Sail has been located in Winter Park, Florida since 1979. So we've been around for quite some time or at least uh, comparatively to you know, a lot of the newer tech schools. Um, but yeah, so we're surrounded by things like beaches, of course the theme parks, as you can see Hogwarts is in the background there. So when it comes to our education, we are very different in regards to that. We are fast and focused. Um, so that means um, our students are on campus full time. So it is kind of like a job, but we wanna, again, mimic that as much as possible, give you the hands-on experience that you are seeing here with the labs. But that does mean that you get done in half the time. So since you're spending more time on campus, again, getting experience, you will graduate in around 20 to 22 months for a fully accredited bachelor's degree here, which is pretty amazing. And, and another thing, oh, oh yes. I'm is so sorry not? to interrupt, but it appears yes. that it looks frozen on our screen. So I don't know if you need oh, to maybe okay. start that over or we oh, wanna okay, just go ahead. to where you're at. Okay, gotcha. Let me go ahead and stop share. Yeah, that was a, that, uh, let me see if this is uh, just a weird issue that I'm just gonna go ahead and share my entire screen <laughs> just in case that I was having. Is it better, is it not frozen now? Correct. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just start right here. Uh, but yeah, so it is, you know, half the time in order to um, graduate. And the good news is you can start anytime um, here at Full Sail. So we do have rolling admissions too as well. So it's uh, one, um, once a month, you know, as far as we do enrollment each month, except for um, December, <laughs> just because of the holidays. Um, and then also um, we are all about preparing um, students for the real world, as you can see. So very project-based. 
I want to give you industry experience. And lastly, the industry, as far as this goes, the industry gear is something that I just wanted to briefly highlight. Um, when students enroll, they get a chance to take advantage of something called the Project Launch Box. It's kind of something we do in lieu of books. So you either get a MacBook Pro, or as you can see here, an MSI computer. It is, of course, it's yours to keep after you graduate because it is included now with the cost of the school, which is pretty amazing. Um, it's a technology package that has everything that you need for your degree program. So with that being said, um, I just wanted to briefly talk about some of the community life here at Full Sail University. We're big into clubs. We encourage students to do extracurricular things. So we have things like cosplay club. Of course, we do have um, uh, clubs like creative writing, you know, to go along with the you know, entertainment media. NXT is filmed on our campus, uh, WWE is. So we've actually had students work behind the scenes of that. But another thing I just want to briefly highlight is that we do have an esports team. So our team is called Full Sail Armada. So we do play games like Smash Brothers, Rocket League, um, at one point CSGO, Call of Duty, and more. And uh, with that being said, you know, um, before graduating, uh, it is very important for us to uh, prepare you for the real world. So we have a wonderful career development department that helps grads, you know, within, uh, you know, their programs to seek these opportunities. So we've had amazing, uh, you know, gra or grads that have had success in these areas and gone on to companies like this that you're seeing here. Um, so we have 60 plus career advisors too. So, and it's a lifetime support too as well. And you can actually come back anytime in audit classes, as long as there's room to as well, students can call us about that. So again, getting a chance to see some of the accolades that our grads have gotten is really amazing. Um, we're gonna make some updates for the Academy Awards that just happened. Um, but what we're most proud of is grads actually going out there and doing what they love to do, regardless if they're getting accolades or not, you know, Grammys and Academy Awards. So um, if this is something that you're looking into, uh, you know, keep in mind that Full Sail University, we do have scholarship opportunities and also financial aid is available to those who qualify. So I definitely highly recommend reaching out to us if you wanna find out more about those. And also feel free to take a virtual tour. There is a way you can sign up on our website, which I'll put a link um, to how you would sign up for more information and that tour so you can get an inside look at um, you know, how we do things. So how to get started again, I'm going to put up a QR code. So if you do want to take a picture and I'm kind of running out the last like, you know, minute here, you can of this, but I will put this link in the chat. It's going to be the same thing. It'll get you information about the school, the programs and any other questions that you may have. We'd be more than happy to help you out and navigate if this is a good fit. So that is been pretty much it for me. It's been an absolute pleasure being able to share Full Sail with you and back to Jay. Thank you so much, Jolie, really appreciate that. We are gonna move now to our third presenter with Marymount Manhattan College, come on up. Thank you, Jay. Um, I'm going to stay with camera off for this time just because my Wi-Fi is being a little finicky this evening. Um, so if you bear with me, I, I am here in person, I am fully clothed, um, so we'll get started on this presentation. So my name is Alexis McPadden. I am an admission counselor here at Marymount Manhattan College. I'm also an alum. I graduated in 2018 with a double major in business and communications. So here at Marymount Manhattan College, we were founded in 1936 as an all girls Catholic school. Um, we are no longer either of those things. So we are a co-ed college with no religious affiliation. And um, we are located on the Upper East Side of New York City. So we are in the heart of New York City within walking distance to um, Central Park, to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, um, to MoMA. So you are just a walk or a subway train uh, right away. Um, we have nearly 1900 students studying at Marymount currently. So you have the benefit of going to college in a huge city with amazing internship opportunities, um, but then you have this close tight-knit community that is Marymount Manhattan College. Average class size is about 15 students. Our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one, and we have 32 majors and 45 minors for our students to pick and choose from. These are the breakdown of our academic programs. If it has a star next to it, it can also be added as a minor. Um, and about 65% of our students double major. We do allow for BFA students to double major as well as BA students. Um, so if you are interested in that, Marymount is definitely a place that encourages that. 
Our career services office is going to be your go-to spot for um, anything job or internship related. Um, students at Marymount can do up to five internships for credit, and many students take full advantage of that. Um, we have students at large name companies, um, which you can see in the background here. We also have students that are at smaller companies throughout the city as well. Um, I did one internship at Live Nation, got to work on Lady Gaga's Joanne tour, which is amazing. And then my following internship was at a small um, nonprofit in Brooklyn. So really shows you the balance um, between internship opportunities here. Um, and we do have a class called New York City 101, which all first year students will take. Um, so even if you're coming from across the country, uh, you will take a class taught by an academic advisor that teaches you how to navigate living in New York City. We do have study abroad opportunities. You can find more about this on our website. Um, but one thing I like to highlight is our travel study courses. So those are a Marymount led course. Um, and then you get to go to the place you've been studying. So in this image here, we have our fashion marketing course um, and they are in London there. They went on a three week trip to London, Paris and Milan. We have over 50 registered student organizations. So even though we are a small college, we have many ways to get involved. Um, and many of our students do find um, themselves in many different clubs uh, throughout the college. We have three application plans. We have early decision, which is binding. Um, most of our students will apply early action, which is a December 1st deadline, here back by December 21st, and then it's at the typical enrollment deadline of May 1st. Um, anything at, submitted after December first will be read on a rolling basis. Um, and so that being said, we are still accepting applications for fall 2021, if you are interested. Application requirements, we are on the Common App. We also have our own MMC application. Um, we do require an essay, one letter of recommendation, your high school transcript, and then optional test scores. Um, always reach out to myself or our office for an application fee waiver. We are more than happy to hand that out. Um, and then we do offer merit-based scholarships and competitive-based scholarships. And lastly, I want to mention that we are a, a stackable school. So any external scholarships you get, you can stack those right on top of your financial aid package without any penalization. Um, there are some colleges that might take away some institutional aid. If they see you're bringing in external aid, Marymount won't do that. We see that as an award to you. We're not going to penalize you for that. And then lastly, we welcome you to stay connected. We're on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and we would love to have you on campus. We are open for campus visits. Um, but without uh, further ado, I'll hand it back over to Jay and um, bring the next college on over. Thank you so much, Alexis. We are now halfway through. So let's move it right along to Seton Hall University. Thank you, Jay. And hello, everyone. My name is Gina Wright, and I am the Assistant Director of Admissions for Students in the Southwest here at Seton Hall University. And Seton Hall is one of the country's leading Catholic universities, and we've been developing students in the mind, heart, and spirit since 1856. Seton Hall offers all of the advantages of a large research institution, coupled with the benefits of a very small, supportive environment. Our 58 acre main campus is located in the quaint suburb of South Orange, New Jersey, just 14 miles west of New York City. And we are an hour from the nearest beach and mountain and about seven minutes from the nearest hiking trail. So there's plenty to do outdoors in addition to taking advantage of vibrant city life. We are home to about 6,000 undergraduate students and 4,000 graduate students, and we offer over 90 rigorous majors and programs throughout all nine of our colleges. Um, and our programs have been singled out for distinction by several prominent organizations, and our students have gone on to be researchers, Fulbright Marshall Scholars, award-winning authors, diplomats, peacemakers, sportscasters. Fun fact, um, the founder of ESPN actually is a Seton Hall grad and still does workshops on our campus, so definitely something you could take advantage of if you're interested in sports media. Um, and it's important to note that in addition to all of our wonderful four-year programs, we offer a ton of dual degree programs, which are uh, pathways that take students straight through to their master's or doctorate degree, saving them time and money. You can see several of those opportunities listed here on this slide. However, there are, um, I believe now, 32 or 33. So definitely options within all of our colleges if it's something that you're interested in. 
We also offer several opportunities for academic support on campus. We realize that a lot of our students are pretty overly committed and involved, a lot of them taking advantage of these um, fast tracked pathways. And so we do offer tutoring both in our Center for Academic Success and then also tutoring in residence. So if you're a student that is very busy and you don't have time to seek support from one of our wonderful faculty members or within the Center for Academic Success, you can actually find late night tutoring opportunities right there in your dorm. St. Paul students are graduating on time and finding employment very soon after graduation. Our average employment rate is 93% within six months of graduation. However, our schools of diplomacy, business, nursing, communications, education um, have employment rates ranging from 95 to 100% within six months of graduation. And that's meaningful employment, meaning students are finding jobs in their field. Um, I would attribute the success to the fact that Seton Hall is ranked number one in the nation for, uh, number four rather, in the nation for internships, and a lot of our students do have three to five by the time they graduate. This has helped place Seton Hall in the top 25 for highest paid grads, and our students' mid-career earnings are about 50% higher than the national average. Seton Hall students are very involved on campus. We have over 150 clubs and organizations, and 50% of our students participate in club and intramural sports, and about 25 to 30% participate in Greek life. We also have the number one ranked leader program in the country which comes with personal mentorship leadership coaching and a weekly leadership development seminar uh, being that we are a division one school with competitive athletics not only do our students receive the benefits of small class sizes and really close relationships with faculty but they're also able to enjoy all of the wonderful college traditions and school spirit that comes with being a d1 school um, we are in the midst of a university renovation, so just know you're going to be having uh, access to kind of uh, high tech equipment and opportunities to um, really spread out, um, you know, have a, an ample social life, um, even when the, the weather gets cold. So looking forward to that. Uh, about 80% of our freshmen live on campus, 50% tend to move off campus in one of the local houses or apartments nearby after that. Um, and this is our total cost of attendance. However, most students are not paying that because we give away $100 million every year in scholarship and 98% of our students do receive aid from us. We do accept just the FAFSA, not the CSS at our school. Here's a full list of our deadlines. Um, we are test optional for most programs. However, Joint MD and all of our, our options in our School of Education are the exception. Um, but if you have any, any additional questions about that, you're welcome to email me. We also weigh demonstrated interest. So if you're interested um, in getting involved in some of our virtual events, you can actually visit this website website and see a full list of our offerings. We are also taking on-campus visitors right now. So you're welcome to come by if you'd like, or you can take a virtual tour and you're welcome to take a, a quick uh, snapshot of that QR code if you would like more information, or you can email me. Thanks so much, everyone. And I look forward to hearing from you. Passing it back to Jay. Beautiful, thank you so much. We are now gonna move right along to new school of architecture and design. Come on up. Hi, Jay, and thank you so much for the great introduction. Uh, so my name is uh, Raul Moreno. I work with the New School of Architecture and Design. I'm the regional college representative for the college. And um, let me uh, share my screen really quickly so that we can uh, show you some really great stuff about our campus. So the New School of Architecture and Design is located in San Diego, California. Uh, and we've been down there for a little bit over 20 years. Uh, we actually started off in Chula Vista, California, and we're now celebrating our 40th anniversary uh, so we're not a new school any longer, uh, but the name new school actually comes from our founder, Richard Welsh, who actually started the architectural school in uh, South uh, County, San Diego, and started off as a smaller architectural school, but now we offer design programs as well, and many other programs as, uh, in addition to construction management and a four-year and a five-year architecture program, which I'll talk about for a little bit. So as far as our school itself, uh, we are a regionally accredited university. Hey, Raul. Hey, Raul. We can't hear you. One moment here. We're just going to get connected to Raul one second. No. Now we can hear you. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm not sure why it keeps going in and out. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> so as far as the school itself, like I was mentioning, uh, we are regionally accredited. And then I also want to talk about the programs really quickly. And the, the programs vary from uh, undergraduate degrees in architecture, which is our largest program. And we have two variations of the architecture degrees. So we have the BA in architecture and the Bachelor of Architecture. Uh, if you're looking to become a licensed or certified architect, uh, the professional or five-year program would be your best fit. Under design, we offer everything from product and industrial design to graphic design and interactive media, uh, interior design and architecture as well. And those are all four-year degrees. Uh, we also offer the four-year undergraduate degree in construction management, and that's a bachelor's of science uh, in construction management. And you'll notice to the far right there that you can minor in many of these different areas like digital architecture and fabrication, healthy urbanism, uh, product design and you name it. So um, I won't talk a whole lot about the graduate programs but we do offer graduate degrees in, uh, in construction management and architecture as well. So, so the passion of our students is actually their work. So when they're actually working on different projects whether they be architectural or, or design related, uh, this is actually one of the projects that a group of our students worked on. And it was uh, out in the East Village of downtown San Diego. It's a pocket park called the Courtyard. And this actual project um, was started off as a thesis project, but now is actually a full pocket park in downtown San Diego. Uh, just to show you that when you're working on hands-on type of projects, uh, you're able to actually make an impact on your community and also bring those visions to life and reality. And the pocket park includes everything from a dog park. It's got a concert and events venue for live music and concerts. It's got an open marketplace. Uh, it's got places for food trucks to park, depending on what events are going on. And we posted everything from uh, events for Comic-Con. We've been a pit stop for the San Diego Rock and Roll Marathon. And we've also hosted many different like gaming competitions, Star Wars marathons, and all kinds of fun events. So as an architect and a designer, you get to actually make an impact on your community and create things and design things, which brings me to my next slide. So because our programs are very hands-on, there are many areas of the campus that actually have places where you can actually make things and, and also uh, demonstrate them within the community or within competitions. We have a full fabrication shop where you can do everything from working with laser cutters, you've got 3D printing, you've got a full welding shop, a full wood shop. So if you like to create and make things, you're definitely gonna be able uh, to have the opportunity to do that. We have many open studio spaces around campus for you to be able to work on everything from renderings to uh, critique presentations, you name it. So uh, if that's something that you really wanna go get into, um, it's a place for you to be able not just to be in the classroom, but also get your hands dirty within all these different areas of the campus. Um, as far as financial aid and scholarships, uh, you're probably wondering, how am I going to pay for all this? I know all the schools are talking about uh, different ways to be able to finance your education, and we're not any different. Uh, we are Title IV funded, so you would complete the FAFSA application. Uh, we are a military-friendly military, military friendly, uh, campus, uh, work with Cal Grants and uh, Dream, Dream Act students. But you'll notice there at the bottom of this slide, we also offer scholarships. And these scholarships include everything from merit awards to the president's award. We have community college discounts uh, if you're transferring from a local community college, early action scholarships, and a lot of different ways for you to be able to pay for college. And it's just a matter of connecting with our financial aid department or admissions person, and they'll be able to tell you more about what your particular situation uh, entails when it comes to financial aid. Uh, admissions wise, we're looking for for many different things, but uh, GPA, we're looking for a 2.5 or higher. Uh, everything else is pretty typical. Your uh, statement of purpose or college essay, two pages maximum. We wanna make sure that you talk about yourself, that you let us know why you're passionate about design, architecture, construction, and then maybe some, some life goals um, after you graduate from school. Uh, as far as other things that we require, your transcripts, whether you're, it would be your high school transcripts or your community college transcripts if you're transferring from a community college. And, if, uh, if you don't have a portfolio, it's okay, but I always tell high school students especially to get into the practice of submitting a portfolio. And that could be anything that you've done on the artistic or creative side. So it could be sketches, edited photographs, video, if you're submitting like a tiny home that you designed, or even illustration, storytelling when it comes to our graphic design and interactive media program. So uh, talk to one of us at our campus. And we'll be able to give you some more information on, on uh, portfolio requirements. If you need to reach me, this is the best way to get a hold of me feel free to contact me via phone, uh, scan the QR code, and you can email me as well in case your parents have questions. So thank you so much, Jay. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much, yeah. Raul.
We are gonna move now to our final presentation with Roanoke College. Come on up, Olivia. Awesome, hello y'all, thanks for coming. Um, welcome to sunny Salem, uh, Roanoke College. We are so excited that you have decided to join us today. Roanoke College um, has been around since 1842 and we are currently a top producer of Fulbright Scholars and also of Truman Scholars. We have been named one of the top 20 most accessible and approachable schools uh, for our professors. So we really build a strong community academ academically, but also socially. Uh, in addition to that, um, you will find um, that we have a beautiful surroundings. So we are in Salem, like I said, um, it's a 30,000 uh, people who live here, a very friendly town. You'll see people walking their dogs and just being a part of our community. In the bottom left corner there, you can see a festival that we call Old Salem Days. It's one of my favorite events here um, in the Salem area. We're about 10 to 15 minutes away from the city of Roanoke. It is a very urban um, city. You can get to almost anywhere um, from our local regional airport, which has access access to the 10 most um, top like airports in the, in the country, but then also an Amtrak to get up and down the East Coast. We most importantly have our Blue, Blue Ridge Mountains. If you love the outdoors, this is the place for you. We go hiking, kayaking, skiing, whitewater rafting. Our outdoor adventures program is probably our most participated program here at Roanoke College. To give you guys a little bit of a background of our school, we have a little bit over 2,000 students here um, from a variety of countries and states. Um, but our average class size is about 18 students. And this is really important to us. We really believe in a personal connection, not only with your student, with the students in your class, but also with our professors here. We also have over 1,000 um, career mentors. They're alumni who are in those grad programs and um, careers that you're looking into that are there to help you throughout the process. We have over 50 majors and 69 minors in concentrations and pre-professional programs here at Roanoke. Really something for everyone. We just added new majors in education, engineering, and also data analysis. Um, we were really excited about that and just um, upcoming STEM uh, related build or our new building here is gonna be having a new rebuild soon. But most importantly, um, what I love about Roanoke is that you don't have to decide your major until second semester as a sophomore. So it really gives you a lot of time. And one of the best ways to um, kind of figure out what you wanna major especially if you're undecided, is through our core curriculum. Only one third of the universities and colleges in the nation um, have a topic-based curriculum like Roanoke. Ours is called the Intellectual Inquiry Curriculum, um, INQ for short for many of us students. Um, but most schools have gen ed courses, but we like to make ours a little bit more fun. Um, so we have chemistry and crime instead of just chemistry 101 or statistics and sports. Um, so it really allows you to dive into some of those majors that maybe aren't your favorite, but you really go to love because of the topics that they're in. We really guarantee that all of our students will have some real world experiences through these five different areas. Um, all of our students here will do research, many of which will be published and also will get a chance to present at large conferences before they leave Roto College. And this is really nice just because um, we really believe in giving you that hands-on experience. Service learning is another big one for us. We really believe in getting out in our community and not just here in the community, but also nationally and um, internationally. So our students will get a chance to study abroad, whether that's for a semester or for a whole year or through what we call our May term course, um, where they'll go abroad um, or do something here in the United States or do our DC semester. Plenty of internships for you to be involved up, whether that's in the, here in the city of Roanoke or back home or even abroad. Here are some of the places our students have gone post-grad. Um, Duke, Yale, University of Chicago, working for NASA, um, the FBI, some really great places there. Um, also, lots about the community. One of the things I think about Roanoke that really keeps us all together is that we have over 100 different clubs and organizations, and also um, we have several um, we have several uh, NCAA sports, so we just added wrestling this fall, so we're really excited to see them um, get out on the maps here coming soon. We also, um, sorry, it looks like I went backwards <laughs> instead of forwards. Uh, um, here's, I guess, a little bit of an idea on merit scholarships as well. We give over $35,000 in scholarships and grants. Um, you'll see here that upon acceptance, everyone is awarded some type of merit award. Um, if you visit us, so come, whether that be virtually or in person, um, you'll get an additional $1,000. We have two competitive programs, our fellows and our honors program. We also have fine arts scholarships for our students to compete for. And then also, we really recommend that our students file the FAFSA and to a little initiative for that we'll give you an additional $1,000 for all four years that you're here on campus. 
I want to kind of just um, end with this um, to give you guys a little bit of an idea of our um, application deadlines. So we have early action one, early action two, early decision and regular decision here um, at Roanoke. We are rolling admissions this year. We did release dates as well. So that way our students would know when they would get their decision by. Um, if you have any questions about the application, definitely look here at roanoke.edu slash apply or reach out to me here at, um, at my email address kit at ronan.edu. It really is our um, our purpose to help you find yours. And we um, hope that you find it at Roanoke College through our core curriculum, but also through your um, involvement in our community. So thank you for um, hanging out with us today. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Olivia. I really appreciate that. Now I'm actually going to ask all of our presenters to come back on video because there's a little bit of time here. So I think we got time for one or two questions that I would love to ask you all. So I'm going to bring up my screen here, but just to get us started, since you all are the amazing professionals that you are, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll have you answer in the same way in which you presented. So Regent University, what do you have to say here? Um, my advice would be don't be afraid to um, enroll into the university as undecided. Um, nothing is worse than going, you know, a year or two years in taking some major classes that um, aren't going to help you achieve your academic goals. So if you don't know, that's okay. We don't expect you to know. Um, just definitely go ahead and know it's okay to choose undecided at first. Beautiful and full sale. Yeah, so as far as the college search process, you know, reaching out to colleges, talking to them, um, and asking questions, you know, what's important to you in a school. Uh, you also have to look at that, your learning style too as well. And, um, you know, we even have some resources where you can try out certain careers beforehand, if you will, online, if that makes sense, um, different skill sets like in music making too. So try things out, see what you like, see what you don't like, the process of elimination. So that's just my recommendation. Just do research and, and reach out. Don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. And Marymount Manhattan. Yeah, so um, my piece of advice for students would be um, to visit campus now that the college campuses are opening up, um, definitely start planning those visits for, for the fall. Um, if you can see yourself on campus, then that is, you know, where you might want to end up. I met with a family today, wasn't considering Marymount, and then they came to campus and fell in love with the environment and the um, the student body that we had on campus. So definitely go out and visit. Don't put your blinders on. If your parents say, well, let's visit this, state, this school that's in state, say yes, do it. Um, and you never know, you might. Thank you. And Seton Hall. Yeah, so kind of um, going along with what was just stated, while you are on campus, I would encourage you to ask if there's anything else you can do in addition to taking a tour. So a lot of universities can set up a day visit for you, and a lot of universities are offering this in a virtual environment as well. So you can ask for things like the ability to speak with a student that's in your program currently, maybe chat with a professor to ask questions about the curriculum. Um, you know, I, I think overnights are probably done with uh, at this moment, but given COVID COVID, but um, but there's so much you can do. Eat the food in the cafeteria while you're there because you have to eat that food for the next four years of your life. So definitely something uh, to take advantage of and ask what else can, can be done while you're there visiting the school. Great, thank you. New School of Architecture and Design? Yeah, you know, everyone has such great advice. I would have to say that, you know, definitely explore as much as possible. Uh, you know, take a look at the, your surroundings, where you might be for the next four or five years of your life. And at the same time, you know, prepare yourself because I feel like I talk to students every day and they're like, oh, I forgot my FAFSA or I forgot this. So definitely time management, get all your documents in order, get a second pair of eyes on your portfolios, on your essays to make sure that everything looks, you know, tip top shape for sure. Yeah. Excellent. And Rono College, can you close out this question? Yeah, I would say just be open minded to the process, look at big, small, medium schools. It really is not just a mind um, decision, but also a heart decision. Um, I know that's kind of like hard to think about now, but and especially when you're 17 to 18 years old, like where is going to be my home? But I think that really helped me in making my decision. And, you know, four years later, I guess a year only out of college, but um, I've really 
I'm so happy that I chose the place that most felt like home to me um, and definitely was open-minded in the process. So just do that. Um, it's my friend says it best. It's like that wedding dress moment for you girls um, out there and maybe for that tux moment for the guys. Um, but it's just that feeling that you get um, at a place. And I, um, I think this uh, Marymount school said it best. Yeah, definitely visit um, and that way you really get a good idea of what the school is like. Great, thank you. Now we have a couple more minutes. So I'm gonna actually ask you another question, but what is your favorite event or tradition that you actually have on campus? Just to end on like a fun note, I guess you could say, um, let's go ahead with Regent University. Um, one of my favorite things that happens on campus actually happens during Christmas time. It's our Christmas village. We basically transform the entire campus um, into a Christmas village. And um, over the weekend, there's things from Santa. We have the manger scene. Um, a lot of little mom and pop shops will set up like a little farmer's market. And um, it's fun for the students and faculty and staff, but the whole Virginia Beach community comes together and people travel from far, um, near and far are to um, be part of Christmas Village. So it's definitely my favorite part of campus. Got it, thank you. Full sale? Awesome, so yeah, one of my favorite traditions that we do is uh, once a year we have something called the Hall of Fame where we induct six um, graduates who have really made a name for themselves out in the industry. Um, the last one I, I was able to attend, um, Timbaland <laughs> came to our campus <laughs> because we had grads work with him. So that was a shocker. It's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> And he came to speak to our students about the industry and what it's, you know, what it's like. So I thought that was pretty amazing. But yeah, every once in a while, we'll have a really nice special guest on campus inducting our grad into the Hall of Fame. So it's an exciting time. We do prizes and giveaways. And I love to be like, you get this, you get that. So, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really wonderful tradition. And we want to celebrate, again, those successes that are out there. Great. Thank you. Manhattan Marymount. Or I'm sorry, Marymount Manhattan. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so my personal favorite event that happens each year on campus is our annual drag show. Um, so these are Marymount students that um, come and perform in drag. Um, both, you know, students across the gender spectrum are able to, to participate in that. Um, we have a huge LGBTQ population here on campus. So um, it's just a great event, one of our um, most attended events throughout the year. Um, so that's that's my favorite. On times and Seton Hall. Yes, I have uh, two things that are a tie for first place in my brain. One is Christmas at the Hall, um, kind of similarly to what was shared earlier, actually ranked number one in the nation for holiday events. So um, we do very similar things, um, you know, and we also you know give out our blue and white Christmas hats and do a big Christmas tree lighting and caroling and we try to out give ourselves every year and bring in the community so that's a lot of fun and then number two would be our annual concert so this year um, we actually had Jason Derulo give a private virtual concert to our students in the past we've had Jesse McCartney and other performers that come on campus so that's something everyone looks forward to every year awesome okay. new school of architecture and design what about you yeah you know so many things come to mind but yeah, they usually involve some kind of food so there's always those cool events, right? But I would have to say our senior thesis showcase, that's when, you know, you see all the students' projects kind of come to life and, you know, industry is there, uh, their parents come down and they get to see the, you know, the fruits of their efforts for the time that they've been in school. You know, we, we usually uh, contract bands to play during that day. And then we have, you know, tons of food, tons of drinks, and uh, we're able to actually kind of just celebrate, you know, our students' successes. So it's a, it's a great time at our campus. Awesome. Yeah. And Roanoke College. Yeah, Fridays on the Quad are my favorite um, event slash tradition um, at Roanoke. They happen at the beginning of every fall semester and at the end of every spring semester. Never before did I ever think like seeing dogs and drag and dragon costumes would be so cool. Um, so we usually have like Dragon Fest and we have um, Ferris wheels and slack lighting and rock climbing, um, so many different events. And sometimes it's goats and doing goat yoga. So there's a wide variety of Fridays on the quad, but it's a great time because our faculty and staff also come to it. Um, and they bring their families and their pets. And so it's another way to build community here at Roanoke and just build those personal connections that I think end up lasting us a lifetime. So, yeah. 
Beautiful, thank you. Well, I'm gonna close this out here and I wanna say thank you to the six of you for being here and giving us all that information about your schools. Greatly appreciate that. Also, for those of you who are here live, we are super grateful for you. Thank you for being here. And when you close out, there will be a short four question survey that we at StriveScan would love to have your feedback on. And this is just one of many sessions happening. There are two more happening this evening if you wanna learn about more great schools. And the session has been recorded, so you'll be able to find that recording at strivescan.com forward slash CalSoap. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and you all have a wonderful night. Bye now. Bye.